I want to talk about uh, my portable heating system. Um, I do have a furnace on board the trailer, but uh, it uses energy, you know, propane and um, electricity to power. So I really like to use a portable buddy heater. Um, they're very common. Um, I'm going to show that to you guys and just want to let you know we are renting those out on the site, uh, wildernesstrio.com, if you want to rent those out. But I also just want to give a review on it and let you know how it works. Uh, so this is the heater right here. You could use these little green Coleman propane tanks if you wanted to. You could also get an adapter that would go from, you know, right up here to, you know, one of these larger propane tanks if you wanted to. Uh, it's got two settings to get just low and high. Uh, I have found that on a low setting inside the trailer, it gets pretty warm um, very quickly and stays warm for a while. So for me, low works really well. Um, I get about between three to four hours um i don't know the exact time with one of these tanks on low on high it's it's less than that you know it's probably around two um but i get that i mean out of these large tanks you get a ton of time out of them so i mean if you're going to go out for a weekend and you want to stay warm the entire weekend if you brought one of these with you you'd totally be set um so this thing works really well i mean it's designed for indoor use i've been using it for a year inside the trailer um all the windows closed up and um i'm still alive so there's like some kind of cool things you could do with this. Uh, what I have is I have a, um, I don't have it with me right now, but I have a heat powered fan. You can look for them. Like, I think they're called stovetop fans. You can look for them on Amazon. I have no idea how it works. It just somehow starts generating power with a heat source. And so what I do is I put that on top of the buddy heater and uh, it blows, it circulates the air better that way inside the trailer or tent if you wanted to. Uh, there's another thing I do with it. Um, and I'm not taking credit for all this stuff. It's stuff that I've seen people do outside or I've already seen it on YouTube. Uh, but you can go ahead and modify your Mr. Buddy heater to do something interesting, like to create a, uh, a toaster. You want to toast some bread or, I don't know, tortilla. So what you do is you got this grate that's normally on here right here. What you're going to do is you're going to, mine's already loose because I popped it off quite a few times. You're going to take it and then you're going to insert it this way. And then I just let it hang right there. And so that's probably a few pounds of pressure. So what I've done in the past is go ahead and just put a piece of toast right here if I wanted to toast it. It's way easier than just throwing it on the stove, I've found. Um, so just a little, little Mr. Buddy hack for you.